Okay, guys. Now, where do we do uh, uh, add or subtract as polynomial expressions? We uh, follow order of operations. So, whenever you do operations like addition, multiplication, division, you have to follow the order of operation, even if it is not a number. Okay. Now, if you see this, the, the third example, so we have uh, a bracket. Inside a bracket, we have a parenthesis. So first, we have to get rid of that the inside parenthesis. So I have to distribute this negative 1 over 3a and 6. So I have 5a minus, keep the bracket, 2a. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3a. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. Okay. Now, inside the bracket, we have two like terms. We have uh, 2a and negative 3a. So you combine those two. So you'll have 5a minus. Now, 2a minus 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So I have negative 1a, or just a, negative a, minus 6. Again, you see, see you have negative outside. So I have to distribute that negative 1. So technically, we have negative 1 here. Negative 1 times negative a and negative 1 times negative 6. So this becomes 5a. Negative times a negative is positive. So I have plus a or just 1a. So you can say 1a is the same thing. Negative 1 times negative 6 is plus 6. So finally, 5a plus a will be 6a. Plus six would be the final solution. So you simplify the expression inside parenthesis first, then you work out to the bracket. And that's just following order of operation. Any question on the first three questions? The first three examples, I mean. Any question? Okay. If you don't have any question, I want you to try number four. Uh, then we'll do number five as a class. So I'll give you three minutes for number four. Three minutes. So it's now 6.15. So I will expect you answer at 6.18. So write your answers on the chat. Six, uh, number four says T minus seven plus three Y inside parentheses minus 2 minus y plus t. So don't forget to distribute the negative over 2 minus y plus t. Once you finish, write your answer on the chat. Excellent, Norma. That's good. Anyone with different answer? We have one more minute. Guys, write your answer. 
been three minutes. What is your uh... so the operation is subtraction. So you can do it uh, either way. So let me show you two uh, different ways to do it. So one, you can get rid of the uh, subtraction by distributing this negative one here. You will have t minus seven plus three y. Then negative one times two is negative two. Negative one times negative y is plus y. Then negative one times t is minus t. Then you combine like terms. So I have t minus t. I have negative seven minus two. This is plus, and I have three y plus y. Okay, so that gives you. Uh, this will cancel out. T minus t is zero. Negative nine plus four y. Okay, or four y minus nine. Four y minus nine. So this is one way to do it. So to get rid of the parentheses by distributing the negative. So whenever you see subtraction or negative outside the parentheses, just distribute negative one. Or in this case, you can do uh, combine like terms like this, t minus t. I know the operation is subtraction. Then you combine negative seven minus two. Then you combine three y minus negative y then you add all up. so this would be zero again you have negative nine plus four y exactly the same value okay so i prefer the uh, first method so let's use that and do number five so the last example here on this slide has two expressions inside a bracket which are also inside a parenthesis so what you have to do is first Get rid of this parenthesis, negative 7x minus 2. So this equals negative here, the first one here. Distribute the negative, negative 7. Negative 1 times the negative x is plus x. So we get rid of the first parenthesis. Then minus, so keep the bracket. So we have to work from inside out, okay? Now we have 2x plus 3. Distribute the negative here again. Negative 1 times 7 is negative 7. And we have x. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. So negative times a negative is positive. Then combine the expression inside. If you see inside, we can add uh, 2x minus 7x negative seven plus x minus, now two x minus seven is negative five x. Three x plus two is five x, just five. Again, we are going to distribute this negative here. So whenever you see subtraction, just distribute the negative and it becomes addition automatically. So negative seven plus x, negative times a negative is positive, so I have plus five x. Negative times a positive is negative, so I have minus five. So again, combine like terms. So we combine uh, x plus five x, which is six x, and negative seven plus negative five, or minus five, sorry. which would be negative 12. So I'll write the answer here. I have 6x minus 12. So you work from inside out. So for the expression inside the bracket. So this is technically following order of operation. So you have to get rid, to get rid of parentheses first. Then you do subtraction or addition. Okay. Any questions on example three? 
Okay, now let's see some more examples uh, which are in uh, sentence four. We can change them into uh, expressions. So now this express, uh, example says, subtract 3a squared minus 7x plus 2 from the sum of 6s plus 5 minus 2x and 12x plus 7x. So the first expression 3x a squared minus 7x plus 2 will be subtracted from the sum of 6s plus 5 minus 2 and 12 plus 7x. So this is how I'll write the expression. First, the sum of these two, 6s plus 5 minus 2x. This is 2x plus sum means addition. 12 plus 7x. Now, the first expression is subtracted from this. 3a squared minus 7a plus 2. So first I will simplify the expression inside here. So I can combine 12 and uh, 5. So I have 6s plus 5 plus 12. So you can combine the two. And also I can combine negative 2x plus 7x. Then distribute the negative. So I'll distribute the negative here. So negative 1 times 3 is negative 3a squared. Negative 1 times negative 7. Negative times a negative is positive. So I have 7a positive. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So combine those like terms. I have 6s plus 5 plus 12 is 17 and 2x plus negative 2x plus 7 is 5x. Then minus 3a squared plus 7a minus 2. Sorry, that's x. That's 7x, I think. Yeah, this one is 7x, it's not a. So you have to make correction on this one. So this one is xx. Okay. So what's the rest is good. Now let's combine like terms again. So I see here 5x. And 7x, I see here 17 minus 2. So you just combine those. So 6s plus 5x plus 7x, so just combine those two. And 17x minus 2, just 17 minus 2. There's no x. 17 minus 2. And also we have minus 3a squared. Okay, let's combine like terms. 5x plus 7x is 12x. 6s plus 12x. 17 minus 2 is 15. And minus 3a squared. Okay, so that's how you simplify this example. It looks longer, but we follow the order of operation. Any question on this example? Any question? Okay, now we have another example. I would like to try that example. I'll give you five minutes. Uh, then we'll take another two minutes to discuss about it. So this is similar to this example. Uh, everyone try the next example. Okay. So you have to try this example. And once you finish, type your answer on the chat. Sorry. Uh, let me see. That. Okay. 
So a similar question. Okay. Where did you get negative one? Oh, in front of any number you have negative one. So usually uh, what I mean by is if you have, uh, let's say if you have X, technically it is the same as one X. So the same applies if you have, let's say X minus two, this is the same as one times X minus two. But if it is negative, x minus 2 so that now you have negative 1 x minus that is technically so it, one times any number is the number itself that's why we plus one in front of the expression inside the parenthesis because one times the whole expression will be the same okay did you get it now okay good Good. Okay. Um, we have three minutes for the example. Make sure you type your answer on the chat and we can discuss about it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Guys, we have two minutes. If you finish, write your answer on the chat. Say so subtract the sum of this from the sum. So you have to do two operations, then you subtract the two. And let me write the. So first, you have to add 5a squared minus xy minus 2x plus negative 3a squared plus xy plus 5x then from this you subtract uh, the sum of these two that means 2a squared minus 7xy plus 3x and plus negative a squared plus 10xy okay that's the question yeah it looks complex but just follow the order of operation and let's see uh, your answers almost time so let's see the answer okay good so you have 6a squared so we have a squared a squared good okay and we have xy so we have one xy here 7xy very good the xy is good the 3x 
and minus three. Do we have three? Do you have numbers? I don't think we have numbers by themselves. Okay, only that. So plus three x. Okay. Okay. Good. Time's up. Let's do it together. Excellent, Norma and Benji. So you guys have uh, tried and you got some of them right. So let's do uh, the problem as a class. So this is what I do for the first expression on the left. So you have 5a squared and 3a squared. So you combine 5a squared minus 3a squared. Then for the xy's, you have negative xy plus xy. So negative xy plus xy will cancel out, becomes zero, okay? Then we have negative 2x plus 5x. So negative 2x plus 5x is 3x. So I have here 5 minus 3 is 2a squared. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3x, okay? So the left hand side simplifies to 2a squared plus 3x. Now let's see the right hand side. So I have a squared here, 2a squared minus a squared. That's the first term. And x to y, we have negative 7xy plus 10xy. So they are like terms, so we can combine those two. And we have plus 3x. Okay, so this two will be combined and you have two a squared minus a squared would be just one a squared. Negative seven xy plus 10 xy, negative seven plus 10 is three. So I have three xy. And finally I have plus three x. Okay, now to get rid of this parenthesis, I have to multiply by negative, a technically negative one, just distribute the negative. So I have 2a squared plus 3x, negative a squared, negative 3xy, and negative 3x. Okay, now combine like terms again. So you can see here we have 2a squared minus a squared. So those are like terms, 3x minus 3x. Those are again like terms, so they will cancel out and become zero and minus 3xy. So finally, 2a squared minus 1a squared is just a squared minus 3xy will be the correct answer. Okay, so correct your answers. Uh, a square so, so you got a plus 3xy it should be minus 3xy and the 3x will be cancelled out there. okay any question on this example so basically you have to follow order of operation the expression inside the first bracket should be simplified and the expression inside the second bracket will be simplified once they are simplified you just subtract this If you have any question, let me know. And we'll move to the next uh, example. So I will uh, show you one application problem. 2a square and 2a square. We don't have 2a square and 2a square. So there is minus a square. If you see normal, if you see on the other side, it is 2a squared minus a squared, so we have only one a squared. So 2a squared minus a squared is just a squared. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll wait, some people are writing.
Que só que luz. The last one, you mean the last row uh, after, okay. So, okay, I'll be this question. So if you see here, we have uh, 2a squared plus 3x minus a squared minus 3xy minus 3x. So let me highlight or uh, just uh, circle those which are the same. So if you see here, 2a squared is like term with negative a squared. And 3x is the same or like term with negative 3x. So 3x minus 3x will be 0. They will cancel out. 2a squared minus a squared will be just a squared. That's what we have. And the last one, the last expression is negative 3xy. It's by itself. It doesn't have any common uh, like term. So it will stay by itself. So that's why we have a squared minus 3x squared. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, now let's go to the next example. In the next example, we'll do some application problem. It is uh, a geometry problem. So when you see problems like this, try to represent it like in, in a picture. Uh, so draw something, try to represent it because it usually geometry involves some kind of shape. So in this case, it says there is a rectangle with a width of 8x minus 4. So the width is 8x minus 4. And the length is... 3x plus 2. <clears throat> now we are asked to find the parameter. So parameter P is the sum of all the sides. So P is, so it is the length plus the length, another length plus width plus width. Or in short, it is uh, twice of the length plus twice of the width. So because we have here 8x minus 4, the opposite side, this side is also 3x minus. Now, when you ask to find the parameter, all you have to do is just add all the sides. So the question is, write a polynomial that represents the parameter. So P is the first length, which is 3x minus 2 <clears throat> plus the second length, which is 3x minus 2 plus the width. One of them is 3x minus 4. The other one is again 3x minus 4. It's just adding all the sides will give you the parameter. Now, if you see, we can combine like terms. We have, oh, sorry, the equation is plus 2. I don't know why I wrote minus 2. So this should be plus 2. Sorry about that. Okay. So we combine like terms, those with x, 3x plus 3x plus 8x plus 8x. And the numbers are 2 plus 2 minus 4 minus 4. So combine like terms. So 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 8 would be uh, 14. 14 plus 8 would be 22x. So this will give you 22x. Just add the numbers, okay? 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 will be 0. 0 minus 4 will be negative 4. So that's our polynomial, which represents the perimeter of the given triangle. So the perimeter is 2x minus 4. Any question on this example? So this is uh, one of the application of adding polynomial expressions. Finding the equation for the parameter. If you know x, you can find the parameter. So that is what is called variable. So we don't know the x value, it's unknown value. It's varying value. So we use x to represent an unknown value. OK. 
Okay, any question? So next we'll move to multiplication of polynomial. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's move to uh, the next question. That's the next topic, I mean. Uh, 3.4, classification of algebraic expression. The objectives is to introduce the commutative law of multiplication. Commutative is usually changing places, doesn't change the value. So if you have A times B, it's exactly the same as B times A doesn't change the, the product. If you have three or more than three uh, uh, numbers or variables multiplied, associating different groups doesn't change the output. So if you have A times B times C, it's exactly the same as A times B times C. So it doesn't matter which one you multiply first. That's what associative law means or associated properties. Then we have distributive property. So if you have A times B plus C, you can distribute A over B and also A over C. So you distribute the A over a B plus C. So the product becomes A times B, which is AB, plus a times c which is a c. so this is what the distributive property or the distributive law says next we'll see uh, rules of exponent okay we'll see rules of exponent uh, and we are going to use rules of exponent to simplify expressions so for this class we are going to see only three rules there are a lot of rules so we're not going to go in detail about those all the rules we see only three because they are important in multiplying polynomial expression so finally our main objective is to multiply algebraic expression that's our objective so in commutative law says a times b plus b times a uh, associative law says a times b times c will be the same as a times b times c. We, which ones you group doesn't change the output. That's basically what you have to take from the associative law. And next we have distributive property. If you have a times inside bracket b plus c or inside parenthesis b plus c, we distribute a over b and c. So it becomes a times b, which is a b plus a times C, which is S. Okay, now let's move directly to some examples here. Uh, and uh, I'll show you the first three examples. Then we have another uh, slide where we could try uh, more examples. Okay, so the first example, if you see, we have a monomial six multiply a trinomial expression A plus B, a uh, 2B minus seven. So the six will be distributed over A, and then two B, then seven C. So what will happen is six multiplies A, then again six multiplies two B, then six multiplies negative seven C. That's what distributive property says. So six times A is six A, six times two is 12, and we have so 12 B. Six times negative seven is negative 42 C. So that's the final expression. Okay. So just distribute over the expression inside the parentheses. So six multiplies each one of them. Now, if you see the second one, we have uh, multivariable. So you have A, B, and C. So when you multiply multivariable uh, expressions, 
So you multiply the variables which are the same. For example, when you multiply a, b times a, you multiply a by a and it becomes a squared. Because you have two a's, it becomes a squared. So let's see this expression here. We distribute three a, b over two a and minus five b, c. So three a, b first multiply two a. So the numbers three multiply three, a multiplies a. Plus three a, b again multiplies negative five b, c. So the second expression is negative so because you have negative minus five. Okay, now let's multiply the numbers first. Three times two is six. And if you see here, we have a times a. We have one a and another a. A times a is a squared. Then we have b. If you see here, we have three and negative five. Three times negative five is negative 15. Then we have a. We don't have another a. We don't have, we have b times b, which would be b squared. And finally we have c. That's how you multiply a uh, monomial by a binomial or a trinomial for that one. Okay. Any question on these two examples? Okay, if you don't have any question, I want you to try example number three and simplify the expression. Write your answer on the chat. So I'll we'll take, uh, I think three minutes will be enough for that. So I'll wait three minutes. It's now 6.50 and I will expect your answer at 6.53. Okay, so let me show you visually what you are going to do. So you distribute the two over S and 2T. You distribute negative S over seven and uh, negative 2t then simplify the expression if you have any question just type on the chat okay good so i have an answer uh, 2st minus 2s good any different answer uh, we'll wait so we have three minutes Two S T minus two S plus fourteen. Good. Next one, normal. Okay, guys. Let's see if you have different answer. Two S forty and two S T. So your difference from normal is the sign of two uh, S. Okay, okay. So the numbers are the same for all the three of you, Norma, Lewis, and Benji. But the sign, if you see, the signs are different. So you have to pay attention to the negative numbers. So when you distribute negative numbers, you have to pay attention. But your numbers are good. So, oh, sorry. Okay. No problem. Okay. It's okay. Okay, guys, we have one minute. Anyone different answer? If you, it's okay if you make mistakes. So usually 
when we work with negative numbers, sometimes we make mistakes. So uh, the most important thing in mathematics is just finding out your mistakes. So if you learn how to uh, correct yourself, that's, that's basically the most important thing in mathematics. So when you advance in uh, topics in mathematics, uh, you have to develop that skill, how to figure out when you make a mistake. Okay. So let's do uh, this problem as a class. Excellent, uh, normal, loose, Benji, and uh, let's do that as a class. So first, I have to distribute the 2 over s plus 2t for the first expression. 3s, I have 3s by itself, plus 2s plus 4t. Then I will distribute the s negative s over 7 and negative 2t. So negative s times 7 would be negative 7s. Uh, negative s times negative 2t. So negative times a negative is positive, so it becomes 2st. Okay. Now combine like terms. So those three are like terms. This 2 and this one. So 3s plus 2s is 5s. And minus 7s would be negative 2s. So I have negative 2s plus 4t plus 2st. Okay? That's the final answer. Excellent, Norma. I think she got the correct answer. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to uh, multiplying binomials. Uh, binomials can be uh, multiplied. So uh, this is how how it will go. So I'll do one of the questions. You'll do the next one. So I'll give you two minutes in, uh, each time, and then finally we'll do the last expression. Okay. So first we have x minus 2. So this is a. This is, let, let's go this way. a, b, c, d, and finally e. So I'll do a, and I'll give you two minutes to work on b. Then I'll do c, and I'll give you two minutes to work on d. Finally, we'll do e as a class, OK? Now let's start. So for a, uh, this is how you multiply a binomial product. So you take the first number here, the first binomial, and distribute over the second binomial. So x multiplies x plus 7. So x times x is x squared. That's the first term. Well, let, let me multiply it so that you can see. So I will use a different colors here. x times x then x times 7. Then we take 2 and distribute over x and 7. We take negative 2. Okay. So negative 2 times x and negative 2 times 7. Okay. So x times x is x squared. x times 7 is 7x. And we have negative 2x. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. If you see the ones in the middle, they are like terms. 7x minus 2x is 5x. So I have x squared plus 5x minus 14. So this method is called the FOIL method. That means you multiply the first by the fir uh, the last. So sorry, the first by the first. This is f. The outer x and the outer seven, all. Then the inner ones i, and the last ones l. That's why it's called four. Okay. So you multiply the first numbers for the first uh, variables. Then you multiply the first and the 
the, the two outer numbers, x and 7 in this case. Then you multiply the inner numbers, negative 2 and x. Then you multiply the two last numbers, negative 2 and 7. After, uh, after that is combine like terms, and that's your answer. Okay, now we are at 6.58. I'll give you two minutes for B. Just do the FOIL. Take the first expression and distribute it over the second polynomial. Then after that, you take the second expression or the second number and distribute that over the second uh, polynomial over 3x minus 1. Okay. Two minutes is enough, I think. You have nine X minus two, okay. Six X squared minus X minus two, very good, Norma. Next one, another, the same, six X squared minus X minus two. Okay, we have one minute. Okay, B has seven X. Okay, let's let's see the answer. Very good, excellent guys. Uh, so uh, what you have to do is just just perform the foil. So the first one, two X multiply three X. So two X times three X. Then two X multiply uh, negative two. So two X times negative two. Then one multiplies three. 1 times 3x, then 1 multiplies negative 2. So 1 times negative 2. Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6, so we have 6x squared. That was right. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4x. And 1 times 3x is just 3x, then minus 2. So combine the ones in the middle, negative 4x, plus 3x is negative 1x. So we have 6x squared minus x minus 2. So make corrections. So that's the correct answer. Excellent, guys. Now, before I do uh, uh, C, uh, I'll give you a very common mistake uh, students make. When you square a binomial expression, it is technically a, in this case, a plus 5 squared is a plus 5 times a plus 5. Now, this is the common mistake we usually get. Students just square a, then square 5, which is 25. 5 squared is 25. This is not a squared plus 25. Okay. Please do not just square the numbers and put the answer. It is a binomial product so that you have to multiply the first binomial, which is a plus 5 by itself, a plus 5. That's the definition of square. If you have two square, it means two times. The same way, if you have a binomial square, you have to multiply the binomial by itself, not a squared plus 5 squared. That's, that's not the answer. Okay, now let's do this. So it is not a squared plus 25, so let's figure out what it is. So a times a, so I'll, I'll distribute the a over a plus five. So a times a is uh, a squared plus a times five, then five times a, and five times five. Just distribute over, uh, the second polynomial. You distribute a first, then you distribute the 5. So a times a is a squared 
a times 5 is 5a. 5 times a is again 5a. Then 5 times 5 is 25. So you combine those in the middle, 5a plus 5a is 10a. So I have a squared plus 10a plus 25. Okay, that's your final answer. Now I want you to try number uh, D. Again, I'll give you two minutes. So right now it is 703. So we'll come back for the answer at 705. Okay. So don't forget a plus 5 squared is not a squared plus 25. So you have to multiply the binomial by itself. That gives you a squared plus 10a plus 25. Yep, yeah, yeah, excellent, Louis, excellent, Norma. You guys have one minute. For a cubed, so, uh, minus two AB, I see AB is minus three B plus nine. Or are you doing E? Uh, I think Norma is doing E. That's that's okay. That's good. Good. Okay, so we are doing uh, D. So D is here. So I think you haven't seen it. Let me circle it. It's okay. So we when we go to the last one, so D is here. Okay, 4a squared minus 12ab minus 9b squared. Excellent, Jasmine. Uh, yeah, that's fine, Norma. That's fine. That's fine. So I'll wait for your answers a little bit. That's 30 seconds, and we'll do it as a class. Excellent, Jasmine, uh, but there is a small correction. Okay, so you'll see it when I do it. You, your answer is very, very good. So uh, let's do it as a class. So if you see this problem, you, you are multiplying 2a minus 3b by 2a minus 3b. So 2a times 2a will give you 4a squared. 2a times negative 3b will give you negative 6ab. Now negative 3 times 2a will give you negative 6ab again. Now negative 3 times negative 3, negative times a negative is positive. So b plus 9b squared. Okay, negative times a negative is positive. So you have to keep that in mind. So you combine these two, it will give you a negative 12ab and you have 4a squared and then plus 9b squared okay so it has to be plus 9 so why two answers are right excellent guys let's move to the last problem and it's okay yeah that's fine excellent norma and we'll finish the last one then we'll go to properties of exponent so 2a multiplies 2a squared so that becomes 4a cubed. 2a multiplies 3a, that becomes 6a squared. 2a multiplies negative b, that becomes negative 
AB. Now three times A squared becomes six A squared. Three times three uh, A becomes nine A. Three times negative B becomes negative three B. Okay. Now let's combine like terms. The only like terms I see are six A and six A squared, which will give you 12 A squared. So four A cubed plus 12 A squared minus two A B plus 9a minus 3b very long expression and sometimes you'll get very long expressions okay when you multiply by binomial by a trinomial so we, we did the same thing it's just distributing over three numbers so you take 2a you distribute over 2a square and 3a any question Okay, now let's go to the last one. So uh, in the next topic, we'll see properties of exponent. Uh, I'll quickly go over the properties and these are the rules we are going to use, okay? The first one says, if you have product of two exponents, you add the power. A the power of M times A the power of N equals A the power of M plus N. So you'll have A, let's say, Let's say you have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 3. Just you add the exponent, which is x to the power of 5. So you have 5x's. If you have power of power, you multiply the powers. x to the power of 3, the power of 2 will be x to the power of 2 times 3, which is 6. Just multiply the exponent. If you have power of products, let's say you have x, y, the power of, uh, let's say, uh, three. So you distribute the three and you have x to the third power, y to the third power. So the power should be distributed to the product. Suppose a, the power of n, and b, the power of n. So these are the, pro uh, the properties we are going to use, but the, we have more rules of exponent or properties of exponent, but not we are not going to focus on them in this session. So when, when need arise, we are going to review the uh, properties of exponent. But for now, we are going to use these three properties of exponent to simplify uh, expressions and, and multiply them. Okay. Now let's see some examples in applying these rules. So I'll go over some of the questions uh, and we'll just uh, as many questions as we can because we have nine minutes okay if you see the first one it is product of two exponents so if you have product of exponent just add the powers what do you think will be the power just type on the chat for the first one gentlemen we said when it is add multiplication we add we don't multiply we add so that would be seven, excellent, excellent. So this becomes a the power of seven. Now the second one is power of power. When you have power, you do what? For the second one, for the one on the right, a the power of four, the power of five, multiply. So we do multiply it and that becomes four times five, which is 20. So a the power of 20, okay? Now with this, the same spirit, we do number three. So when, when you multiply expression like this, this is technically you multiply a the power of three. So we apply property of multiplication, which is basically associated property. So we can associate a cube and a squared. Then we associate b squared and uh, b the power of four or you can say we group them. So when you have product of exponents, we add the power. So a cubed and a squared will give you a to the power of five, b squared and b to the power of four will give you b to the power of six. That's it. a to the power of five and b to the power of 
Now, the second, the next one is uh, power of products. When you have exponent and when you have products inside a parenthesis, what you have to do is just distribute the exponent. So it applies for three. So we have three to the power of three. It applies for C squared. So you have C squared to the power of three. And it applies for D the power of five, the power of three. Okay. Now we know the power rule. Uh, first, three to the power of three is three times three times three, which is 27, I think. Three times nine is 27. Okay. Now, this is power of power. When you have power of power, you multiply. So two times three is six. So I have C the power of six. Then five times three is 15. D the power of 15. Oh, sorry. You have D the power of 15. Okay. Can you try number so we are for number five and number six? Try number four and number six. Sorry, number five and number six. Excellent, Norma. So what do you think is negative two x squared y the power of six, the whole squared, and negative x cubed y the power of four, the whole the power of three. So four, excellent, negative two times negative two is four. X to the power of four, because you have two, X to the power of two, the power of two, and Y to the power of six, the power of two. Yeah, excellent. So you have here negative two squared, which is negative two times negative two, which is four. And we have X squared squared, which would be x to the power of four. Then we have y to the power of six squared, which would be y to the power of 12. Okay. Now if you see the next one, this is cubic function. So for the negative, we can I can say negative one. So I can say negative one cubed. And we have x cubed cubed. And we have y to the power of four cubed. So negative one times negative one times negative one. If you have a negative number and if the exponent is even, it becomes positive. If the exponent is odd, it becomes negative. So this one is negative one, so just negative. Three times three is nine, so we have x to the power of nine. Four times three is 12. So this is negative x to the power of nine and y to the power of 12. Any question on this example? I know, uh, excellent. Norma has got the correct answer. If you have a question, please let me know. So we have four minutes and four questions, so we'll go a little bit faster. What about the one? So usually we don't write one in front of numbers. So usually we don't say one X, it's just X. That's why we get rid of the one. So it's technically negative one times X to the power of nine, Y to the power of 12 but we don't usually write one in front of a uh, variable. Like we don't say one X, it's technically X, okay? Now, let's see the next example. So if you see the next example, we are going to do the same thing, but uh, let's combine them first. Two times three is six. Now I have A times A squared. So you have one A and two s so you'll have three s a to the power of three and b cubed times b so you have three b and we are adding one b so it becomes b to the power of four and finally we have c by itself okay that's the answer six a cubed b to the power of four so let's do the same for this one. So you multiply negative two by negative four, which is negative eight. You multiply x squared and x squared. 
So you have two x's and uh, you're adding another two x's, so it becomes four x's, so x to the power of four. And for y, you have y3 and y, so three y's and you are adding one y, so it becomes y to the power of four. And finally, we have a by itself. Okay, so that's that's. So we'll, I'll do the uh, uh, next example and I'll leave you with the last example. So just try it or you can find it on Canvas. So on the video, you can just watch that. Uh, and I'll use one minute on this one and I'll open the class for one minute for discussion. If you have any question, please type on the chat while I'm doing this problem. So the next question, I have two times three, distribute the two A x over 3a x square and 5x cubed. So 2 times 3 is 6. a times a is a squared. x times x squared is x cubed. If you have 1x and you are multiplying it by 2x, so it becomes 3x. And 2 times 5 is 10. a is by itself x times x cubed is x to the power of 4. Okay, that's it. So this is the lesson for today. We saw how to add and subtract uh, rational, sorry, uh, polynomial expressions. And also we saw how to multiply uh, binomials, monomials, and trinomials. And finally, we saw the properties of exponent and how to use them to simplify expressions. Any question, yeah, you are welcome to ask. Otherwise, it is 720. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend. Make sure to complete your assignments on Sunday. So if there's any issue, please shoot me an email so that I can uh, make an amendment. Uh, any, any concern, please let me know before you uh, miss your due date. Okay, I'll see you on Tuesday. Uh, bye, see you guys. Oh, problem number 10, you say? The last one? Okay, if you say, I'll, I'll go over. You want to stay. Okay, so this, you multiply negative five x to the power of two y. First, multiplied by three x, so negative five times three is negative 15. And if you see, we have x squared and x, so that gives you x cubed. Then you have y. Then we go to the second one. Negative 5 times negative 2 is 10. x squared times x is x cubed. y times y is y squared. Then we go to the last one. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. Then x squared is by itself. We don't have another x. And y times y would be y squared. That's the final answer. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye.